Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we visit the Carlsbad Cavern National Park located here in Southeast New Mexico. That's right, come with us as Clay and I spend the day visiting the largest cave chamber in North America. We'll travel deep under the Guadalupe Mountains, some 750 feet below the Earth's surface, and we'll take you to one of the world's great natural wonders as we visit Carlsbad Caverns National Park. We'll begin here at the Visitor Center, where inside is the Information Center, as well as where you purchase your tickets. And keep in mind, at the moment, you do have to go online and make a reservation for the day that you wish to visit. I'll put a link to the park down in the description for the latest info, so check it out, as well as some additional information that might be helpful. So we're gonna walk into the gift shop and the, oh, there's a restaurant here as well. Oh, good. Good. We didn't eat here, so we can't give it a rating, but I understand they have sandwiches and burgers. Then we dropped by the exhibit room to learn more about the cave that we were about to visit and the bats that call this cave system home during the summer months. Half a million bats live in here. And here's a picture of where the bats fly out of the cave every evening and go eat tons of insects. Are you kidding me? No worries, Clakey. No bats in here today. During the winter, they fly to Mexico. There's where we are now. Mm -hmm. We're going to come over here to the main or natural entrance, I should mm -hmm. say. And you see this right here is all the switchbacks. Yeah. And take it all the way down. Mm -hmm. The main corridor. Look at that. Oh, wow. Some that 750 feet. Yeah. All the way down in here. Oh, and by the way, that right there, Clay, mm -hmm. is the elevator that takes you to 750 feet down. Mm -hmm. We're going to walk all through here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to end in the big room over here. Big room right oh. there. This is like the biggest underground cavern in North America. We're at the natural entrance. It's about a five-minute walk straight down this path right here. Okay. This takes yeah. us to the uh, bat theater oh. yeah this is the uh, bat theater oh. where during the summer when the bats fly out the cave yeah. you know this place has been packed before I've seen on some videos isn't that cool now can you imagine what it was like for the first guys who said hey there's a big hole let's go down in there I know Gosh, I mean, it's crazy that's crazy yeah. these 60 plus switchbacks would take us into a world that we have never seen before 75 stories. Jeez. The distance is a mile and a quarter. Mm hmm. I can already feel it getting cooler. Yeah, yeah. In fact, you might want to wear a sweater or a jacket because down in the cavern it's a constant of 56 degrees. Yeah. Uh, about 90% humidity, I read. So, yeah. Uh, it's pretty, it might be pretty cool down here. That's why we brought a jacket and a sweater. Exactly. Uh, just in case. They say even when it's uh, 90 degrees outside, it still stays 56 degrees, degrees down, down here. here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm, look at that. Wait, you think there's any bats in here right now? Uh, no. How do you know that? Because I don't hear them. Well, we haven't gotten all the way down there yet. Don't wow. be surprised if one doesn't come out on you now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how far we've come so far, Clay. Yeah. Look at that. Jeez. And we're about to, we still got some more light from it. See the light right there from yeah, the sun? Outside. Yeah. Light. And this marker lets you know that you're on the edge of the twilight zone and about to enter what's called the dark zone where there's no natural light. It also reads that they keep it as dark as possible to keep surface creatures from going deeper into the cavern. Interesting. But once you enter the dark zone, a hidden world begins to reveal itself. The water 
dripping here. Yeah. I hear it. Yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. More in just a moment on how the dripping water created the amazing decorations that filled this cavern. We did take a flashlight, which is allowed. And remember, the only light down here is artificial. Some of the ceilings here are 250 feet high. Back to the dripping water. If you're like me and didn't know that that formation is called a stalagmite, which is a mound or tapering column rising from the floor of a cave formed of calcium salts deposited by dripping water. And a stalactite, well, that's a tapering structure hanging like an icicle from the roof of a cave formed of calcium salts deposited by dripping water as well. According to experts, that drip by drip over the past million years is how Carlsbad decorated itself with these incredible formations that we see today. Back in the 50s, the visitors had to climb down this stairway. Remnants of it remains here today. A look at the cottage cheese section. Here's a marker to inform us of some of the options we have. Restrooms and elevators a shortcut, but we are going to take the long route. And here, a stalactite and a stalactite are almost touching. By the way, we're only seeing a portion of what's here. The park has over 100 caves, and you can schedule a special tour with a park ranger as your guide. It's a tour that's not available to those of us who just take the self-guided tour. Man, I just have to wonder, how many years of dripping water did that take? The cave is also decorated with what's referred to as draperies, which develop through similar natural processes as the stagomites. Wow, I feel like I've just landed on another planet. My limited video skills and equipment fails to capture the brilliant, breathtaking decorations that fill this land of wonderment.
There are no springs inside the cavern. Any water you see is from the rain or snow melt that seeps in from the ceiling above. By the way, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Clay and I spent about four hours at the park. Though you can do it in less time, I encourage you to take your time because if you're like us, you may never see anything like this again. Just look at this amazing scenery. To exit, you have two choices, walk back up or take the elevator for the 750 foot ride to the surface. We chose an elevator ride up. Well, that was an amazing tour and I don't think this video does it any justice, do no, you? No doubt about it. I'm, I'm sure the iPhone just won't be able to capture the, the, the scale of everything Gosh, that we saw and the beauty is just absolutely amazing. In fact, I, I, I ran out of adjectives trying to describe it. Right. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, if you want to see another video uh, in New Mexico of White Sands National Park, that video will be right over here. So click on that one and we'll see you there. Until next time, be, be well, well and stay, stay safe. safe.